welcome to the channel my name is Dina this is another video on the amazing Titan Arum or corpse flower the Titan Arum is a rare and endangered species from Indonesia and I was lucky enough to see a Titan Arum bloom at the Adelaide Botanic Gardens last month and it got me interested in this plant so I thought of sharing the information from the gardens to help us understand and appreciate this amazing and rare plant Today's video is about the life cycle of the Titan Arum of Morphophilus titanum, aka corpse flower. It starts off as a corm. A corm is a swollen underground plant stem, the purpose of which is to store nutrients and food that the plant will use at a future time. Nutrients stored in the corm will help in the production of roots, leaves, and maybe grow the stinkiest flower in the world in the future. While the Titan Arum or corpse flower is dormant, its underground corm waits to begin a new cycle and it is known to be the largest in the world, some weighing around 100, even 115 kilograms. The leaf cycle. In this cycle, the plant starts off as a spike emerging from the corm after the dormant period. Then we see this tuber or spike emerging above ground. Most years, the spike grows into a huge leaf with complex leaflets like this. This is the Titan Arum in its leaf cycle. The leaf can grow incredibly fast, sometimes between half a meter to a meter per week. In this cycle, the leaves gather energy from the sun and store it in the corn. The leaf falls over and dies after 12 to 18 months and the plant becomes dormant again. The flower cycle. Once the plant had gathered enough energy, it may start a flowering cycle. It can take many leaf cycles over many years before the plant has stored enough energy to produce a flower. It can take up to 7 to 10 years for a titan arum to produce a flower for the first time. This is why the flowering phase is so rare and interesting. In this cycle, the spike emerges from the corm after the dormant period and grows into a flower. We will then see frills on the spathe, which is actually a leaf. The fully blooming flower opens up to reveal a long spadex in the center where the plant's actual flowers are found, a beautiful burgundy spathe, and the stinky smell of rotting meat that comes with it. The flower collapses a day or two after it opens, and the flowers on the spadex turn into berry-like fruits and birds eat them um, and help spread the seeds to grow more titan arum. The spathe dies back after two months and the plant becomes dormant again. That's all for today on the Corpse Flower Diary. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a like, comment, hit the bell for more videos on the corpse flower.